The whole idea of bibliometrics was quite new to me until fairly recently, but with the help of the research services section of the library, we were able to really explore the idea of using bibliometrics in a practical way. And my understanding from talking initially to the library was that it was possible to measure output and impact. And once I heard that that was possible to do so in an objective and transparent manner, I thought that this was going to be really important for the quality assurance program that I was leading in the school. And I recruited the assistance of the research services from the library and they very kindly came along and not only did they advise me on which bibliometric tools were most useful for psychology, but they actually put in place some training programs for the staff which alerted the staff to the idea of things like H indices and G indices, again which were new to most people. So overall we found that it is possible to capture the research output of the school and to measure the impact of publications of the school in a transparent, objective fashion using bibliometrics. When I take on a cohort of new PhD students, I can teach them certain things, for example, about impact factors and bibliometric tools within psychology. But the problem is that increasingly, research is interdisciplinary in nature. So for instance, in the area that I work in, which is cognitive sports science, then there is not only a psychological component, but increasingly there are areas within sports science that I don't really fully know about. I don't know the bibliometric tools and strategies in there as well as I should, perhaps. So it's very helpful to have somebody from UCD library services to guide the cohort of PhD students towards the best uh, journals and the relevant metrics in disciplines other than psychology. And I think in future, funding is going to be dependent on the ability of researchers to guide their students across this interdisciplinary domain because that's where the money is, is going to be provided for is integrative interdisciplinary research. It, the idea of funding single disciplines I think is probably declining and so we all as researchers need to become more familiar with tools outside our specialist domain.